Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Good morning, good morning, good Thank morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Good morning, Thank people you. of God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let us pray. Let us pray. Praise God. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you this morning. Hallelujah, we give you praise this morning. We exalt you this morning. Let us pray, let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray together. Let us have our devotion this morning. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, Lord. 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 We worship you. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Who is on the line this morning to join me? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, awesome God. Thank you, our God. Our great God, we praise you this morning. Our great God, we praise you this morning. Our great God, we worship you this morning. Our great God, we exalt you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day that you have made. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for causing our eyes to see today. We thank you for causing our eyes to see today, oh God. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you, Lord, because you woke us up this morning by your power. We thank you, Father, because you watched over us throughout the night when we were asleep. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you glory, O oh Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We extol you. We magnify you. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name today. Hallelujah. We worship you. Hallelujah. We exalt you. Hallelujah. We magnify you. We glorify you. We adore you. We honor you. We reverence you, Lord Jesus. You are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for your compassion. Thank you, Lord. You are glorious. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. You are always doing wonders. You are great. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. So we praise you mightily this morning. We praise you mightily this morning. We thank you. We thank you, O oh Lord. We, from the bottom of our hearts to the depth of our souls, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We praise you. We exalt your name. Lord, we thank you because we, are, we went to bed last night. We, we woke up this morning by your power. And you have a plan for us today. We thank you, O oh God, for your plans for us today. We worship you. We exalt you, our good God, our great and mighty God, our glorious God our compassionate and generous God, who is like to, unto you, O God, among the gods, who is like unto you. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in presence. There is none like you. You alone are God. You alone are God from everlasting to everlasting. You alone are God from generation to generation. You alone are God from age to age. You are the alpha. You are the omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. You are, you are, you are the one who was before the world was, and, when, and you are the one who is now, and when the world is no more, oh God, you are the one who will continue to be. So we praise you, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, oh my soul, and do not forget any of his benefits. People of God, praise the Lord this morning, praise him, praise him for his presence in your life, praise him for his eyes that, that are shining bright upon you. The Bible says that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and he hears them when they cry. Let us praise him. Let us praise him because his eyes are upon us because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord who said that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Your very presence help. Praise him. Praise the Lord. We praise you this morning. Father, we exalt you. We thank you. We thank you, oh Lord, for your presence with us all the time. We give you glory. We give you glory this morning. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we worship you. We exalt you. 
we appreciate you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, our comforter. We thank you, Holy Spirit, our intercessor, our par paracletus. Holy Spirit, we adore you. Breath of God, we worship you. Voice of God, we praise you. Power of God, we honor you. We give you glory this morning. We thank you. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. For another opportunity, Father God, to come before you this morning, we thank you. We thank you, oh Lord, because you all we promise us that when we come near to you, you also will come near unto us. So we thank you, Father God, for your presence with us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence with us, even as we reflect on your word this morning. We thank you, Father God, that you will open up our minds, oh Lord, to comprehend your word. We give you glory. Today we receive your word, oh Lord. We receive your word in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, because your word, oh Lord, will do us good. Your word will settle in our hearts and in our minds and in our spirit. We thank you, Father, because we stand on your word. We live by your word. Hallelujah. Your word says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So we live on your word as our daily necessity, as our daily necessary, necessary food. We thank you. Even as you feed us our daily bread today, we receive, our soul receive from you. Our spirit receive from you. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallowed be your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord, our God most high. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Bless his name, people of God. Bless his name. Bless his name. His name is powerful. Bless his name. His name is mighty. His name is above all names. His name is above all titles. His name is above all authorities. Hallelujah. 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 He is above all. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. Glory to your name this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we have worshipped. Amen. Good morning, people of God. God bless you. Good to see you. Good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our reflection this morning is going to be in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and this is the promise, the beautiful promise of God for us today that we can hold on to. It says, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on your offspring. Wow. Wow. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty. Are you him who is thirsty this morning? Are you thirsty for him? Are you thirsty for his spirit? Are you thirsty for his presence? And it says, and floods on the dry ground, which means every dry area of our lives is receiving the water of God, is receiving the rain of God the shower of blessing, there's going to be shower of blessings upon your life, upon every part of your life. And then it says, I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. So God is not even leaving it with us alone. He's talking about our generation unborn. Hallelujah. I will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. You see, when something is dry, it cannot operate at its optimal. You know, it, it, is, it, is, it is not pliable, it is not easily bent, and it's vulnerable to breaking easily. It's like if you take a piece of pasta and you try, and, you, uh, and a dry pasta, you, you, bend, you try to bend it, it will snap. Why? Because it's very, very dry as opposed to a cooked one that is soft because it has water, it has moisture. Amen. A dry ground also cannot produce fruit because it lacks the nutrients and moisture that it needs. 
you know, the, the nutrients and the moisture that the water gives, it lacks that. So it cannot really produce fruit. Water or moisture is very important for any living thing to survive. Without water, most living thing will die. Without water, most living things will die. In, in some cases, in the Bible, water is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. So, which means that without the Holy Spirit, we'll have a dry life. Without the presence of the Holy Spirit, we cannot really survive our Christian work, can we? We cannot really survive our Christian life if we don't have the Holy Spirit. We can't, we can't successfully live a Christian life. We need the presence of God. We need the presence of the Holy Spirit upon us. So, so in some cases in the Bible, water is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. For example, Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 7, verses 37 to 39, it says, now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood up and cried out, saying, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. But he spoke of the spirit whom those who believed in him were to receive. For the spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. He who is thirsty, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. So if you look at this scripture and our main text today, that says, uh, Isaiah 44, 3, that says that, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty. You will see that the two of them are saying the same thing. You will see that the prerequisite to receive the, the, the water of God, the Holy Spirit of God is for us to thirst. It is whoever is thirsty. So, so the Lord is promising us, it, 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 the water is promised to the person who is thirsty. We must thirst for him. We must thirst for him. In other words, we must acknowledge that we cannot function well without the presence of the Holy Spirit. We need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. We need the direction of the Holy Spirit. We need Holy Spirit 24-7. We need him for everything. We need his wisdom. We need, we need him to, to comfort us. We need him to direct us. We need him to give us a revelation. We need him to, for, to help us with discernment. Amen. So we need the Holy Spirit. He's, we need him as our necessary food. We cannot live without him. We need him as our oxygen. In the same way that no living thing can survive without water, in the same way we cannot survive our Christian world without the presence of the Holy Spirit. We need the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. We, we must never go, get to the point where we feel like we've got something figured out without the help of the Holy Spirit, no matter how minor or how insignificant that thing appears to be. Every time and at all times, we need the presence of the Holy Spirit. So we need to acknowledge him. We need to acknowledge that we need him. We need to acknowledge our helplessness without him. We need to thirst for him. And the Lord promises that when we thirst, you know, when you are thirsty, it's like in the summer, when you are, when you are really, really thirsty and the sun is, is out, you know, it's very, very hot. Maybe you've been out all day. You just cannot wait to, to get your hand on a, on a cup of very, very cold water to quench your thirst. That is how much you must desire the Holy Spirit. It is the psalmist that says that as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you. The deer pants for the water desperately because it knows that its life depends on that water. If, if it doesn't have water, it will die. So in the same way that the deer pants for the water, our soul must long for the Holy Spirit of God. Can you see the... the um? The the how the the symbol again how the the Holy Spirit uh, how the water symbolizes the Holy Spirit as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you, so my soul pants for you, and the Lord says that I will pour water on him 
who is thirsty, on the soul that is desperate for me, on the soul that is searching for me. I'm not sure what you want the Lord to do in your life today, but I want to remind you, child of God, that he said that we should thirst for him. He said that we should long for him. He said that we should desire him and he is faithful to his promise. He says that he will pour his water on us. Amen. He will pour his water on that dry area, wherever that area is, is. We must thirst for him. We must thirst for him. He said he will pour water on him who is thirsty. God is eager to intervene in the affairs of our life, but we must give him room to do this. We must give him room that like we, we thirst for him. When we, give, when we thirst for him, we give him room. And this includes our family life. It includes our business, our career, our finance. It includes our vision, your vision, your ambition, your desire, everything about you. Everything about you must cry out for God. My soul cries out for him. God wants to pour his water on you so that your life will not be dry, but flourish and full of life. God wants you to flourish and full of life. We are going to flourish. Everything about you will flourish in the name of Jesus and full of life. God does not desire us to live in a dry land. <laughs> Hallelujah. He does not desire us to live in a dry land. Like your marriage must not be dry. Your business must not be dry. The lives of your children must not be dry. You must flourish and full of life. You must be like, like the plant that is planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Can you see, can you see that uh, um, analogy again? A tree that is planted by the rivers of water, getting your supply, your nutrients all the time from the Holy Spirit of God. We must flourish. Amen. When, when, we, when, when we thirst for him, we acknowledge that we don't have enough wisdom to handle life on our own. We acknowledge that we need the Holy Spirit of God. When we thirst for him, we acknowledge our helplessness without him and we, we invite him into every situation. He promises us an outpouring of his spirit, not even drops, outpouring of his Holy Spirit. There is going to be an outpouring of his Holy Spirit in your life. There is going to be an outpouring of his Holy Spirit in your home. There is going to be an outpouring of his Holy Spirit upon your descendants, even as he has promised. Amen. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 11, 14, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 14 says, then I will send rain on your land in its season, both autumn and spring rains or former and latter rains, so that you may gather in your grain, new wine and olive oil. He said he will send rain on our land when we desire him, when we ask for him, when we thirst for him, when we acknowledge that we are nothing without him, when we acknowledge that we need him to survive, we need him to live, then I will send rain on your land in its season. We are going to cry out to God this morning. I don't know what area of your life is experiencing a drought right now that is dry right now, but the promise of the Lord is that he will send rain on your land. Hallelujah. He will send rain on your land. Both the autumn and this and the spring rain together. You are going that that means that the ones that, that you did not get in last season and the one that you desire you desire this season, he's going to pour it upon you. It's not going to be in drips and drops, it's going to be an outpouring of his spirit upon your life, upon your Christian world, upon your prayer life. Hallelujah. You are going to receive the deluge of the Holy Spirit. He also promises to pour his spirit upon our descendants and his blessing upon our offspring. So we see that God is not just thinking about us alone. He is concerned about our generation yet unborn. His blessings do not just end with us. They are transgenerational. Hallelujah. His blessings are transgenerational. And that, and that is all the more reason why we must call upon him into every area of our life, including our children. Because then we are, we, are, we are creating an atmosphere for them in the future for the move of the Holy Spirit. Let's just begin to thank God today. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you praise. We thank you. Let's just begin to thank him for the promise of the Holy Spirit unto us. 
I know that our, our body is a temple of, of the Holy Spirit, but he says he will pour him, he's in us, but then there needs to be an outpouring upon us as well. When we desire him, when we thirst for him, begin to thank him for his words today. Lord, I thank you for your promise today. I thank you for your word. I receive your word today, oh Lord. I receive your word, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for the promise of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I desire you. I acknowledge my need for, you, for your spirit, oh God, in every area of my life. You say to God that you, you acknowledge your need for the presence of the Holy Spirit in every area of your life today. Lord, I acknowledge my need for you. I acknowledge my need for your spirit because I cannot do without you, because I cannot live without you. Holy Spirit of God, I thank you this morning. Holy Spirit of God, of God, I give you praise. Lord, pour your water upon my land. Pour your spirit upon us without measure. Pour your spirit. Let there be a, a downpour. Let there be a deluge. Let there be an outpouring of your spirit. Begin to say to the Lord to pour his spirit upon your land in the name of Jesus. Present whatever that land represents to you. Hallelujah. I don't know what you have in your hand that you are trying to achieve. Is it your business? What is it? Is it a venture? Begin to present it before God now that he should pour his spirit upon it. He says that then I will send rain on your land in its season, both autumn and spring rain together, so that you may gather in your grain, new wine and olive oil, so that you may gather in your grain, which means that you will have your harvest, which means that you will not work in vain, hallelujah, which means that you will have something to show for your efforts, because you will gather in your grain. It will be evident to all because of the outpouring of the Spirit upon you, because of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your venture. Begin to cry out to God this morning. Say, God, pour out your Spirit upon my venture. Pour out your Spirit upon the work of my hands. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon my life. Pour out your Spirit upon my children. In the name of Jesus, even as you have promised, O oh Lord, let your Spirit come. Let your Holy Spirit come upon me. Let your Holy Spirit come upon my ministry. Let your Holy Spirit come upon my household. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I receive your rain in its season. Because you said you will pour out his, his rain upon me in its season, not out of season, not when I don't need it anymore, not when it is too late, but in its season, right at the time that I need it. Father God, I receive in Jesus' name. I receive, oh Lord, I receive your rain in its season, not out of season, in the very time that I need your divine intervention, in the very time, oh Lord, that I'm desperate for you. Lord, let your spirit be poured on me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that I, because I seek your face, oh Lord. I am like that plant that is planted by the rivers of water. Begin to declare it to God. I am a tree planted by the rivers of water. I receive my nutrients. I bear my fruit in my season. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bear my fruit in my season. My leaves will not wither because I am planted by the rivers of water. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are my source. You are my source. I receive nutrients from you in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive my nutrients from you. I receive strength from you. I receive moisture from you. I receive grace from you, Holy Spirit. I am planted by the rivers of water. My life will not be dry in the name of Jesus Christ. My home will not be dry. My ministry will not be dry. Oh, the work of my hands will not be dry in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against drought. I rebuke drought in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you because the drought is over. Wherever there is drought, wherever there is dryness, Lord, pour your rain in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever there is dryness, wherever there is no moisture in everything that has been so dry and vulnerable to breaking, the marriage that is dry and vulnerable to breaking, the homes that are dry and vulnerable to breaking, Father, pour your rain today in the name of Jesus. Father, pour your rain today in Jesus' mighty name, in the ministries that are, that are dry and are vulnerable to breaking. Oh, Lord, pour your rain. Pour your rain. Let there be a downpour in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every dry ground to receive rain today in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I command every dry ground, every patched ground, 
Every thirsty ground, receive the rain of God, receive the water of God, receive the water of the Holy Spirit, for it is written that out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of my belly shall flow rivers of the living water. Oh Lord, I drink of your water that flows unto eternal life in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive your Holy Spirit. I receive your Holy Spirit. I receive your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, out of my belly shall flow rivers of the living water in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you today. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1 says, Ask the Lord for rain in the springtime. It is the Lord who sends the thunderstorms. He gives showers of rain to all people and plants of the field to everyone. The Lord is going to give his shower of rain to all people. That includes you. That includes me. He says, ask the Lord for rain in the springtime. It is the Lord who sends the thunderstorms. He gives showers of rain to all people and plants of the field to everyone. So open your mouth and ask for the rain today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive the latter rain and the former rain together. The latter rain and the former rain together. You are the one who gives showers to all people. You give showers to all people, oh God. You give rain to all people, hallelujah. I receive my own. I receive my own. I will not be missed out in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be passed by in Jesus' mighty name. I receive rivers of living water. I receive showers, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for, your, for pouring your spirit upon my descendants. Hallelujah. He, pro he promises to pour his spirit upon our descendants. Oh, He promises spirit upon our offspring. His blessings upon our offspring. Begin to prophesy over your children, over your children's children, and your children's children's children to the generation of generation after generation unto the coming of the Lord, that they will not lack the presence of God. They will not lack the spirit of God. They will not lack the outpouring of the living God in the name of Jesus, the outpouring of his presence. Father, I prophesy over my children. I prophesy over my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, my children's 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 children until the coming of the Lord, O oh Lord. Lord, I prophesy over them according to your word that you will pour out your spirit upon them, O oh Lord, in the name of of Jesus Christ, you will pour your spirit upon them and your blessings upon my offspring, everyone that is related to me, that will come out of my loin from generation to generation. Lord, I prophesy over them. I dedicate them to you. I tie their destiny around your altar today in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will pour your spirit upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone that will descend from me, O Lord, will have the presence of your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and your blessings will be upon them in Jesus mighty name they will live in your presence all the days of their lives they will thirst for you they will desire you they will long for you in the name of Jesus and your presence will be upon them and your power will be upon them and your water will be upon them Holy Spirit will flow through them Holy Spirit will use them Holy Spirit will fill them in the name of Jesus hallelujah Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Where the presence of the Lord is, where the presence of the Holy Spirit is, life is easy. Things are easy, regardless of what they appear to be regardless of what they look like, the presence of God makes everything easy. The presence of the Holy Spirit makes everything easy. He says, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty. I will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. I declare and I decree today that the Lord will flood your life with his water, with his spirit, with his presence. There will be a deluge in the name of Jesus Christ. 
you will never lack the presence of God. Those dry areas, those dry things that are so dry and vulnerable to breaking and are not producing the fruit that they're supposed to produce because there is no moisture, because there is no nutrients, because there is no water. Today, I command them to receive the deluge of God, to receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and to begin to bear fruit and to begin to be supple again and to begin to be soft again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Father God. Blessed be your name today. Blessed be your name today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, children of God, that's it for today. Our devotional, go into this day with, the, with this, um, the assurance of this promise that as you thirst for him, the Lord will pour his spirit upon you. Amen. Okay, until I see you again tomorrow morning at the same time for our devotional. God bless you. Have a glorious day. Have a fruitful day. Have a Holy Spirit-filled day. And I'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Shalom.